Well guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Looks like uh, we got some more incoming rain. I'm guessing this is from that hurricane that hit down in the U.S. It's finally getting up here. And I got quite the mess to show you inside the tiny house. Alrighty guys, so I got, I heard water. I'll show you that in a second. Came over here because it rained all day yesterday. And you guys know we recently jacked up the trailer, so it's got a nice quarter inch fall towards the totes. Well, it definitely worked. And it worked so well, and I didn't heed your guys' comments and warnings about possible flooding. And guess what happened? I'll show you in a minute. 78.4 Fahrenheit outside at 83% humidity. 79.4 Fahrenheit inside, hotter in, and 75% humidity in here. Or 26.3 in, 25.8 out. It's closer to 100 because it's, uh, you know, the rain's there. So let's get over here. I got everything turned on. I had the mop on. Um, what's this? I got fans on. Let's go ahead and look. So I got fans running. And good thing I installed this new fan because it's definitely helping dry things up. But um, you guys see that water drip? One of these, this guy in particular, this hose, is leaking dripping water. And that's why I got that rag down there. Now, the water I got in here wasn't substantial. And what happened was I just grabbed this mop and basically just mopped the floor. But what was happening, this is totally full of water. I'm going to show you that in a minute. That hole up there, this wire I just put in this morning as an extra support. And I'll show you why. I'm going to take you up top. And, oh, yeah. I dinged my fan with the ladder because I forgot I installed it. <laughs> but uh, I added this wire running across here to help pull some of this weight back towards the tote because this guy, one of my screws has ripped out. And you can see how much water's in there. Maybe? Yeah, it's pretty full. So basically, it got to that hole there, guys and started pouring out. Now, I gotta fix this hose because it's, you know, nasty. It's not doing its thing. It's, we got a leaky here. It's coming around the outside of the tubing and dripping here, which is not what I want. That's not how it's supposed to go whatsoever. So, let me, uh, Turn you guys around here. And I'm gonna get rid of the ladder for a second because I'm not gonna be needing this. Okay, so if I zoom you guys down in, we're gonna attempt to fix this issue. So is it this one that's leaking? No, it's this one. Yeah, it's definitely this one. So I'm going to attempt. Now, what I think is happening, actually, is the gasket is um, the gasket's failed because I can see the water kind of coming past the gasket on that. Right here. It's actually not the hose, it's the gasket. So the gasket has failed, and I'm gonna have to seriously fix that because that's no good. So I need some kind of contraption here to pick up the drips of water. Um, I just have a rag on the floor for now. So actually, my, bu my mop bucket may do it, but let me look around for something 
and we'll go from there. Oh, um, while we're messing around with this, I'm going to show you guys my water level. Water level is now above that bar. And remember, guys, we've been down here. Where's my finger? We've been right here for weeks, the boat just under that bar for actually a good month because it's been so dry. So this is our first big rain from that hurricane. And now we're just above the bar. And uh, now that the tiny house is tilted too, I'm gonna have a ton of water coming through here. So now you guys were totally right in warning me, hey, you need a valve or something up here. But the thing is, I'm not putting a valve in. I'm going to add more of those uh, water filters that I got from Wish that survived. And they are uh, over here. So I got three of them and they're stubby. So they should be able to absorb quite a bit of water. But the problem with that is guys, I have to wait till everything dries out, take this guy down, drill some holes, mount them, and then also fix this gasket so it's not nasty, nasty on me. Um, it's just a slight leak, and I actually think I may have fixed it by just tightening the wing nut up because it's slowed right down quite substantially. So um, I'm not going to worry about a bucket for now. I'm going to let the rag do its work down here. I have two USB fans running. They should run all day. This fan helped quite a bit, so I'm glad I got that. Thank you to the Patreon members. That dried up the floor in here really quickly, as well as the mopping did. And the only issue we're going to have, crap power today. So, uh, because it's cloudy and raining, um, I'm sitting at 12.7. Um, but it's holding its own there. But no, that means no entertainment for me um, whatsoever because uh, I gotta have these fans running. I could always shut these fans off, but then I would be, you know, dreadfully be horribly uncomfortable, uncomfortable in here. But what I can do is possibly hook this guy back up, but I doubt I'm gonna do that. Um, we're just gonna, I'll just whip the radio on. That's good enough for me. Um, I don't need anything too, too nice and fancy in here. Nothing fancy. So, the, like I said, tilting the trailer up worked great. Worked a little too well. And I only tilted it up a quarter inch fall towards, which is like that much. So, you know, gravity will take it, and it's, it's working well. Now, the only thing is, um, these filters, I hope they're decent. Oops. And they did send a bunch of gaskets and wing nuts, because the majority were destroyed in shipping. You guys saw that video. If you missed that, check that out. But these are stubby, these are quite large, stubby, so they're shorter than my other ones that are kind of about that tall. So it's got lots of surface area, and I just hope these gaskets aren't mediocre. They look to be okay. Um, but like I said, this is not for drinking water, guys. Repeat it many times because... I have people coming to the channel watching my videos. They're not subscribed and they don't really know what's going on. And, well, that happens. So, lots of questions on that. So I got three of these and hopefully the three added bonus to that uh, gravity filter setup for the rainwater will speed up the process of it draining through. Now, those ceramic filters if you've seen my video that i just mentioned about how they how i unboxed them live on camera they were most of them were busted so i got a full refund on the order um inside these ceramic filters is nothing they're supposed to be like charcoal or 
silver impregnated something, but no. So these are just hollow ceramic shells, basically, that the water passively f goes through, and then it goes straight out and into my bottom tote tanks. So, survived major disaster, as far as I can tell. Um, I'm just going to run fans like crazy to completely dry everything up as quick as possible. The mop pretty much nailed everything in one pass, which is not bad at all, and I'm glad I have it. And uh, yeah, so I'll get back to you. I'm going to probably be hanging out at the tiny house all day because we got rain all day, and guess what guys, I got to monitor the situation because that that tank full of um that's filtering all that water it's it's practically almost full you guys saw it so i'm going to show you i'm going to take you back up there in a minute though and show you how clear the rainwater is coming in uh, showing you that the first flush system is actually doing its job and that my gravity filters are doing their job so be back in a bit <laughs> 